up. It's it's the lovely Allie Breen. Hi, Allie. How are you? Hi, guys. Good. How are you? Good. Good. Really good. Yeah. Well, good to see you. And yeah. uh, it's nice to see you and nice to hear you. And uh, Thank you. Wait, you wait a second. Uh, Allsman wants to say something. Allie, you broke the Bob and Tom fandom last mm -hmm. week when you were talking about OnlyFans and that you were going uh. to do this. Several people in Cincinnati last week stopped me and asked me if it was true. One guy waited till his wife went to the restroom because he was being polite and said, no, wow. no, seriously, is she going to show stuff? Because I pay. Is she going to show stuff? So, you have a demand. Good God. Oh, that's amazing to hear. That's so funny. I got a few messages of encouragement myself. <laughs> yet, All right. I've yet to be brave enough. I also just can't figure it out. I have to have a few more talks with Josh about what you're supposed to do on there. If you just post or how it uh, uh, Josh has said he would be your manager. Yeah, that's what I need. And, exactly. Uh, someone to. Uh, well, I think your train. boyfriend should probably be your manager. No, 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 no. no, no. Oh, he's got to be. He has to be involved in some way. Yeah. Uh, just for. Yeah. He'll have, he'll have take pictures. He'll be the photographer. Ooh. Well, that's fun. Yeah. Are you going to yeah, have to be exactly. at the photo shoot, Josh, to oversee oh, this uh, process? I think I I may have to be there. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. It's going to be a lot of flying. It's going to. You're going to put a lot of miles on that. Uh, Car oh, he lo it's perfect. He loves to fly, don't you, Josh? <laughs> I do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've, uh, uh, everybody's so pleasant at the TSA. <laughs> oh my God. God. Yeah, Josh is she's Josh is such roomy. a baby. It's unbelievable. <laughs> can you I take am, your, yeah. Can you take your shoes off? Mr. Gordo. Oh, yeah. Josh <laughs> takes his shoes off on planes. That's your manager, Allie. Okay? There. That's him. Now, Daddy likes to be comfortable. Allie, uh, yep. I forget who mentioned this. It was you or Josh. There is apparently a comedian or comedian, if whatever you want to call, that is on the OnlyFans uh, thing. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah, no, she's a New York girl that's very vocal about it. She just makes a fortune, she was basically saying. Is there, is there a downside to it? Uh, is there a, are uh, you going to be considered less of a comedian if... Do, I do would think, imagine is it like being a, is it, it like for being, sure. Uh, yeah. Forgive me for making, making this connection, but uh, prop comics, and I'm a huge <laughs> fan, but I'm, and I'm not kidding, I... I I love a great prop comedian. I'm with you. I love them, too. I think they're so funny. Same yeah, with guitar tracks. comics. But yes. prop comics are often looked down upon by regular comedians because they have to look down on somebody, for God's sake. <laughs> um, do you think if, if she'd go, it would be like Allie Breen, oh, you know, she does OnlyFans. And then, of course, this well, guy's, I'm, you know, some big fat I'm slob. Well, you, you could do out it. out on stage, so I don't know if it would be the exact same <laughs> thing. But, uh, yeah. I think comics judge no matter what. Yeah, there'll be some backlash. Yeah, be, but, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. There'll and be you backlash. Can, and you can sure. laugh at them as you get in your brand new car and drive home. That's the key. <laughs> yeah. To your fancy apartment. That is the key. Well, you know. Also, uh, I was joking about it, but that's where fan bases come from. It's like your biggest fans are the ones who've seen you naked. Like, from your parents <laughs> on to boyfriends to... That's oh, that's funny. Fan yeah, that's, a, that's an interesting yeah, yeah. Yeah, But it's not true. <laughs> But it's an interesting uh, uh, yeah. uh, yeah. <laughs> thing. Huh. What do you mean There's it's not actually, true? I mean, in real life, I don't think my biggest fans are people who've seen me naked. Your parents loved you unconditionally. They saw <laughs> you naked. Loves you. Yeah. Your girlfriend's yep. seen yeah, you but, naked. Yeah, but no, my, my, my I love you. I've seen you naked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my 11-year-old came around the corner of the day. I had a towel on, but it's, Daddy! <laughs> well, she saw you and she still loves you. Okay, I don't she know. She does. Yep, exactly. <laughs> oh, now, um, <clears throat> Allie. Um, you didn't have the monster out, did no, you? Oh, God, no. Now, Allie. Uh, <laughs> Would you stop? Well, I, now, I have not been on the OnlyFans pages, so. It's our, not as fun as it used to be, man. It's not. Are, most of, the, are most of these quite oh. graphic? You'll be fun, Allie, because yeah. you'll actually be controlling, I mean, I, I, with my assistance, your page. <laughs> yes, But exactly. it used to be well, that that's every... That's point. It should be fun. Yeah, like, you used to be able to actually message, like, the porn stars and stuff, and now they all use guys like me. <laughs> oh, so it's a, it's, a, it's a texting thing, so yeah, they, they yeah, don't I, know. Oh. Hey, uh, Adriana, how are you today? And then Frank writes back, uh, my... Oh, I, I almost said something terrible. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. I'm so turned on by you. Yeah, nothing makes me hotter. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got to get back to my yeah. video game. I'm going to make this quick. Um, <laughs> now, but can you do, uh, uh, how would I word this, sort of soft core? You can do whatever you want. I mean, would that be effective, though? Would that be? I yeah. think it would be for some people. Could she just yeah. do, like, bikini shots? Yeah. Of course. Feet. Oh. I'm, yeah. I'm all into feet stuff. I don't know who cares about showing their feet. Yeah, I will true. put my feet all over that. Place. I don't know why. Yeah. You realize someone just pulled over. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> wait a minute. That's yeah. far and away the number one fetish, right? Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. We've done that yeah, story so. a couple. Do times. you ha do you have nice feet? Do you do you get man manicures and pedicures? I do get pedicures in the summer. I mean, 
I, but like right uh, now, are they you know coated in some kind of you know green algae? I mean, are they? Oh, algae, <laughs> green <laughs> algae. Hmm. Don't you mean yeah. like oil? Well, or no, we're learning about actually, Tom's fetishes. No, yeah. he's thinking like gangrene or something. No, do you have like a you know some kind of foot fungus in your toenails yeah. or? No, I have very pedicured feet, but I think foot fetish people do like weird because Quentin Tarantino likes like filthy feet. Really? Doesn't he, oh, really? You know, he you know, does like, like a little. Of, yeah, he does like a little uh, dirt. A little yeah. 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 I, don't, I, don't, I don't get that oh. part. Yeah. Uh, why don't yeah. you Why don't you start with your feet and then work your way up? Yeah, exactly. If you will, Josh. That's the plan. Yeah, sure. Yeah, there's uh, plenty of uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, we'll plenty of alley to go. Uh... Okay. Well, let's uh, <laughs> let's move forward here. We have to get to our show. The the show has a point. We help people yep. with their love lives. What have we got? <laughs> Dear Allie, my boyfriend got drunk and he fell and he lost half his front tooth a few weeks ago. He keeps putting off getting it fixed and he's totally fine with it, but I don't like being out in public with him like this. <laughs> I'm embarrassed, but I'm afraid to press him about it because I don't want to seem shallow. But I mean, come on. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I agree with her. Really? Yeah. Oh, that love. Yeah. 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 Well, it, uh, there's something about. You Have know, you ever had it happen to you? Taking no. care of yourself. Or you, were you, were you, you break a tooth and no. you. Uh, yeah. It just gets worse. Tell him it's going to be worse if he puts it off. And yeah. you're concerned about his, you know, gums and whatnot. Mm. Bad breath. Oh, so Something make like it that. more of a... Uh, a dental uh, health thing, yeah. Thing. Okay, yeah. A look thing. Yeah, that's I crazy. knew a girl who had a crush. She eventually developed this really strong crush on Jim Carrey. And it wasn't until he had the cap of his tooth taken off for Dumb and Dumber. Yeah. And, um... That's when she developed the crush. Wow. It was the it was the crack. It was the broken tooth that she liked. Wow, oh, wow. isn't that That's a weird fetish? <laughs> oh, no. yeah, that is a weird. Who's fetish. the guy in the Hangover that has the wow. missing tooth? Ed Helms in that yeah. movie, and that's yeah. real. That's... Yeah, so was Jim Carrey. So he had it removed and then put back on. Wow. Yeah, I I, I would can see how it might be a little embarrassing. Guy looks a little bit. Uh... I don't know, tell people that your boyfriend's a hockey player. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that's true. He's a Lemieux. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Any athlete these days. Yeah, that, that that's actually yeah. a pretty good hockey player mm -hmm. as opposed to Hill Jack. That's <laughs> true. Okay. All right. All right. Let's go to our next letter. We've we've gotten this one. We nailed it. Dear Allie, my boyfriend is into crazy things like putting me in dog collars and leashes <laughs> and having me walk on all fours. Then he'll give me champagne out of a doggy bowl. Yes. I actually oh, I mean. have a lot of fun with it. <laughs> But now he likes to take me in the backyard to pee. Mm -hmm. That's still okay. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Look at Tom. Uh -oh. If you're not watching Tom, you're not watching I know. Uh -oh. the greatest show in the world. It's still okay if our backyard was totally private, but it's not. And oh. I think he's gearing things toward to make it quasi public, and that's kind of freaking me out. No. A, could we get in trouble for this? We both have good jobs. Maybe that's how I should tell him to stop. And B, am I being lame by not wanting him to go public? Yes, you are. You're a filthy mutt, and you need to, <laughs> oh. uh, the sooner you learn that. Uh. <laughs> Tom, what's your, uh, what's your problem with this, this whole thing? You really do look This is really wild. Uh, yeah, this it's, is. It's going to get worse. This champagne in a dog bowl. And and the fact dog. that it's champagne <laughs> yeah. is really something. Yeah. yeah, but she's into yeah. all of it except for it being public. Maybe I'm not sure she's that's her own, Well, she's acting like she is. She said it. Yeah, she yeah. said she's okay with all of it, except okay. if it's for kinks, keep it in the bedroom yeah. or take a dump on his side of the bed, and then maybe he will figure it out. <laughs> like, the dog is not well, happy. Well, I guess we're done with this one. Have <laughs> you considered that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, just, uh, way too really into it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and then what if he rubs your face and yeah. goes, oh, no. no. never mind. You're right. <laughs> anyway, you're, you're Bad dog. a dirty little <laughs> bowser, aren't you? Yeah. 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 That's very, oh. as uh, Chick McGee once said, um, this sort of thing, uh, a very a lot of specificity. That is wild. That is. He's into that's. Oh yeah. Obviously, the the answer is whatever. When it gets to the point where you're not comfortable, don't do it. Say at all. it. Yes. Yeah. Do not yeah. do it. I, I mean, this. I just think I, you'd have to talk to a professional on this one. I, I I won't this just keep escalating? Potentially, but she's got to say no. So whatever you're not comfortable yeah. with, please don't do. But if you're fine with being uh, leashed around the yard with that has maybe a, a tall fence, that's right. Oh, yeah. good for you. You guys. Oh yeah, found, maybe you just found come each to other. Up a fence. Exactly. Yeah. Oof. Go to dinner. Come get to get a nice restaurant. Sit. I don't <laughs> guess there's any. Uh, Can she any, have a her bag? Any, <laughs> any reason to ask what position he likes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. right. I think we know. Yeah, yeah, that, 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 yeah, that's that's the capper. That. We're done now. Yeah, I think we're okay. done. Oh, she's not allergic to peanut butter. Yeah, let's no. uh, get to our get to our next letter. Dear Allie. 
When I stay at my boyfriend's house, I park in front of his next door neighbors. They used to date, so he asked me to park around back instead so as not to upset her. I told him I'm not hiding from anyone and I'm annoyed he's trying to protect her. He says he's not, he's just trying to be respectful. And I said, why doesn't he be respectful of me? I'm right here, right? You are, I see you girl. I see you. Why are you parking in front of his house though? I don't like yeah. it when other neighbors park in front of my house. I'm like, use your own curb. But exactly. That's, but I wouldn't park out back to hide it. it sounds like yeah. he's still uh huh? What's this yeah. woman mad about? He's making her hide her car because the neighbor he used to date. He used to date the neighbors, and she, have, I guess the only place to park is in front of her house. I'm, I'm with her, too. Yeah, that's yeah. ridiculous. Have him come to your house, and then you don't have to drive, and you don't have to worry about where your car is. Hmm. Right? Well, I guess, but no, she has the right. She should, like he I'm, should be respectful yeah, of her. Yeah, he is open. Right. Yeah. It's a public street. Unless Deal Jessica's with it. right, and there's other places to park, and she's on purpose parking in front of the neighbors to just be like, ah. I wonder if he's. Yeah. I wonder if the real yeah. issue here is that she's afraid that um, the new girlfriend's going to get her car trashed. I mean, that's that yeah. would be reasonable then to go, hey, yeah. babe, I'm just trying to protect the, the girl. Was kind of crazy. I don't yeah. want her to clean your car. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. She uh, and she oh, wouldn't. Uh, she wouldn't lift her leg when she peed in the leash. <laughs> Right, and then she got all pissy when I tried oh, to put the microchip no. in her. No. <laughs> what if she runs off? I don't want to. You're uh, mixing things up. Oh, that's what that that's, other girl should that, do. That's go the around and start letter. peeing on cars. But that guy Pretty doesn't good. want to hurt the neighbor's feelings. Screw her feelings. Like park well, wherever. Again, I think there's more to this. I think, Maybe. I yeah. think the ex-girlfriend. He's afraid she's gonna, you know, throw a brick through the window one day. Because hmm. we're still together. And a, yeah. and a, and a, and a note quantifying the cheating that he did with Well, him. then this woman who wrote in needs that to be explained to her. Because yeah. that, this is unfair right now. Yeah. That she doesn't yeah. know. What else yeah. do you have? We need other details if it's weirder than what you're saying. Otherwise, I don't know. Yeah, I'm kind of with her. <laughs> yeah. Or you could just Uber over there all the time. <laughs> <laughs> True. Have him pay for it. <laughs> yeah. Then she'd really be like, you're hiding me. Yeah, then it yeah. would really seem suspicious, mm -hmm. though. That... Yeah, maybe he is. Maybe he's hiding something. Maybe he's trying yes. to date both of them. Yeah, I think no, so. it's not the other girl. It's just that she's ugly, and he doesn't want anybody to see him with her. <laughs> oh, have you considered? <laughs> she's hideous. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, now <laughs> whatever, after. dog face. Come on uh, in. Okay, let's get. We have one more letter at <laughs> least. Well, let's go. <laughs> Dear Allie, my boy. Oh, my boyfriend said he was out of town last weekend, and then my friend saw him at brunch with his ex. I, of course, flipped out. I asked him if he was with her the whole weekend. He actually said he was because she had just told him that she had cancer. <laughs> I called her to say, I'm so sorry about the news, and she had no idea what I was talking about or Jeez. who I was. Oh, oh boo. She wow. said he was just trying to get back together with her. She had no idea he was dating someone else. Now yeah. he's going over the top to make it up to me, and I actually do love him, but can I ever get over this? Girl. Wow. No. no. That's what the heck? Oh, I'm sorry that happened to you. Yeah. That that's is crazy. A, uh, yeah, that's, uh, you don't play that card. No, yeah. of course. That's <laughs> bad karma. That, everything about that is ugly. Yeah. He is the worst person that is in psychotic. the world. <laughs> Alzman's got kind of it right here. He's, he's a, yeah, this, this is, yeah, this is a problem. You yeah, don't love yeah. him. You love the idea of having someone take care of you. Get out. Yeah, like, you may have to psychopath. get out of this. That's he might bummer. kill you one day. This is how crazy <laughs> okay, he is. Okay, she's real fired up. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. We have time for one more letter now that we've established that that... Guys, a real creep. Okay, well, what else? What else we got here? Uh, dear Allie, I think my girlfriend is a hobo sexual. Oh, meaning she moves in with boyfriends immediately and just lives off them. <laughs> She's at my house every night, and we were thinking she should just move in, but now I'm worried that literally the last three guys she was with, she lived with for two years and moved right into someone's house right afterwards, and I'll just be part of this pattern. Mm -hmm. But I do actually want to live with her, so what should I do? Well, then just live with her. Let the squatter live there. I like it. <laughs> and I like the term hobosexual. Yes. Yeah, yeah that's pretty that. good. Yeah. What do you call that thing with the stick and the handkerchief with your stuff in it? A bindle. A bindle? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah, get her, oh, get her one of those for Christmas. It'll yeah. be great. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, can you read the beginning again? I'm confused. What's, what is happening here? He's worried. She has a pattern of go breaking up with the person that she's been living with and moving in with the next guy immediately. This has happened yep. three times in a row. It's okay. not uncommon. Okay, but the, it, these aren't homeless dudes. No, no. no. So she's just really a hobo. Okay, I yeah. see. Yeah. No, she's the I one see. that's no, kind of homeless. but she's the one doing yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. And he wants to live with her, but is afraid that he's part of the pattern. Well, but it, to me, you answer, if you want to live with her, just give it a shot. Yeah. Yeah, write out this pattern, bud. Yeah, exactly. And he, he, wants, the end to, of the yeah. he yeah. wants to live with her because she's probably not ugly. 
Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, like the one in the previous right. line. Right. A lot of un- ugly women mm-hmm. men like. Yes, the, <laughs> the, the unugly that. ones. I yeah. love this theme you guys have adopted. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So the tolerance great. level is two years that they can put up with her before she's oh. probably broken up with or kicked out. Because yeah. do you think she leaves the guy to find someone else? Or it doesn't sound like it, but who knows? Yeah. Hmm. This oh. may be the one, man. Give it a shot. Yep. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Uh, very useful information. <laughs> yes, indeed. Uh, <laughs> Allie, are you working this weekend in New York? I am. I'm up in Yonkers at the Yonkers Comedy Club. I got lost there it's- once. Be careful. <laughs> lost in Yonkers. That's a Neil Simon <laughs> joke. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, be thinking about the OnlyFans thing. I, I, for those listening, if you think she should do it, uh, email us. And yeah, will, let's uh, hear it. I'm, I'm, I'm calling Josh later on. We're going to work on this. All right. I mean, I think that's perfect. Still, I mean, if you, especially if you start with just your feet. Yeah, you've yeah, already totally. made. That's $1,000 this month easily. Yeah. Just with the feet? <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Are you uh, yeah, comfortable no with dildo play? Oh my gosh! Is that a Neil Simon? <laughs> is that what you have to is, do with that... your feet? I knew there's more to the foot thing. You have to rub them all over a. Like, will you? Uh, yeah, use a, that with your yeah, feet. Yeah, sure. Oh, Absolutely. you're uh, that's five thousand. <laughs> oh, that's a thing. Oh yeah. my gosh! Yep. Yes. Yeah, sure. Simulate yeah, the. Tom, not. you've you've got to get out more. Yeah. That's all there is to it. <laughs> I don't think I want to. <laughs> I'm, yeah. I'm okay. Are you okay with drinking champagne out of a dog bowl? I mean, I mean, I I actually know the drinking champagne out of a dog bowl. <laughs> Seems to me to be semi-normal compared to f- doing footsie with a, 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 a some kind of plastic phallus. He, he used the term footsie. <laughs> Sorry. He's used oh, okay. Got the, this is going to be great. This is a windfall. Uh, yeah, Allie, I, uh, the, the, a year from now we're to be laughing. Can Allie, I, uh, Allie calls from her penthouse apartment. Or I should, yeah, exactly. I should get copters in. <laughs> Mr. Uh, Mr. Uh, Arnold, is there? you have any room for investors? Uh, I do, yes. Okay, yeah. excellent. All right. okay. Well, thank you, Allie. <laughs> See you in Yonkers. Bye, Bye. Allie.